Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is gonna be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, immediate future, what is coming up for Pisces, please? You get the sun, Leo energy, happiest card of the deck, and you got that ten of wands and the six of swords. Hmm. Um, the situation and the outcome look pretty good, but the obstacle you get the ten of wands there. So I mean, it's possible you know things may feel heavy within the current situation. You could be working a lot or feeling like somebody's carrying like a lot of weight around a situation, even a lot of responsibility. We'll clarify and see. Show me that um, sun, please, for Pisces. So again, the sun is the hat. Oh, y'all have four aces yesterday. Oh, shit. Somebody's manifesting. You're manifesting what's making you really happy. And then you got this four of cups. What in the world? This could be doubt. This could be, um, actually what it can be is somebody is manifesting. I'm reading it for you, but remember it could always be reversed because there could be a past person here or, um, somebody that you already know. Um, but it's like when it comes to manifesting with the four of cups there, there could be doubt, but it's also, it can be a missed opportunity because it's like what we're manifesting is right there, but you got to take action towards it. It's not just something that's going to fall in somebody's lap. Um, and the Ten of Wands is there for the obstacle. So it kind of makes sense. But this also can be a situation where like a project or a thought, an idea, something, a plan that somebody starts, but then the follow through isn't there. And it's coming through like because it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. So it's causing somebody to not take as much action towards what they're wanting, what they're manifesting. Why is the Four of Cups there? The Knight of Cups. Could be your energy. Could be um, an air sign as well. Somebody may have had secrets back here possibly that got revealed. Maybe something around work. Because there is a strong apology that's trying to come through. Or a gift. And there also could have been uh, something. Or be something around like a proposal. But it feels like this person. Where the feelings are real. Or the love is real. So somebody really wants this. Especially like on an emotional level. There was either a rejection. Or there's some doubt. Or lack of effort. Why is the Ten of Wands there? The Ten of Wands can be the level of difficulty, the amount of effort, the amount of responsibility. Oh, you got the world. So it does take a lot. That kind of energy, it's like create and change, but it does, it, it does take effort. Quite a bit of effort on someone's side. The Ten of Wands does not come easily, but with determination, the Temperance card... And the Two of Swords, with determination, it can be done. Um, but however this is resonating, it looks like there may be something that's, that you're healing from or kind of just not even going towards right now, like not ignore, like not acknowledging. Because you're working hard to create change. You're healing. You're kind of letting go of something um, around the situation. It's more of a go with the flow and kind of leaving things at a crossroads. So show me the Six of Swords for the outcome. Oh, this is fine. This is working out, um, I think. 
we're going to keep clarifying, but this right here is like somebody coming over, somebody moving into a new house. There definitely could be a proposal that's there. Tell me more about the outcome. Strong moving energy. But I think you guys have had that coming up for like the past couple of weeks now. You got the full and the seven of cups. Definitely can be traveling or moving. It does look like um, with the full and the seven of cups there. There's optimism, there's fresh starts, but that seven of cups is still some uncertainty. With that two of wands, this is like presenting a path that didn't seem possible before. It's taken a while, but also it's about making clear decisions. Because this is definitely coming your way. It, it could have been like somebody kind of dropped the ball or stopped making an effort over here. Um, what's interesting though, it's like somebody put in this effort to heal, but something just either came to a crossroads, didn't get acknowledged or talked about. The outcome is kind of changing all that. Um, like I said, it can be like somebody coming over, moving into a new house, moving towards like stability and commitment and things like that. But then following that, we have the seven of cups and the two of wands. So it is about making those you know, clear decisions and acknowledging like all aspects of things. All right, Pisces. Yep, this is like the Ace of Cups. This is like second chances for some. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.